It's here. So basically, I ordered an Osu keypad, and today I'm going to do a little, little bit different of the video, I guess. I'm gonna do one of those weird IRL ones where they like open the box and shit. So yeah, I guess we start that. I don't know. Got the knife. Knives are dangerous. I don't care. So uh, while I'm opening this. Um, my reasoning behind getting a keypad is because, uh, my computer kinda, well, no, not my computer, my keyboard kinda just isn't hot swappable, even though it cost, like, $120, which is stupid, because a lot of keyboards would cost like $60. You can get like $60 hot swappable keyboard. And hot swappable basically means that you can switch the switches out. Which is a bit of a weird term. But uh, basically you can't... Like... The mechanical keyboards work with... So you like, like I, press, I press key, I press key, it go click, 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 click. That has a switch. That's, that's, the, that's the thing that triggers like... The press for the computer. So, mine, I can't switch those out, but a lot of them you can, which is, which makes the mine stupid, basically. So, um, wanting different switches, because my Z key is kind of fucked also, um, I bought, oh, comes in a little pouch. I bought this one. Because this one has hot swappable switches, but also it comes with them. And this was like $40. And for me to get a new keyboard that just has like stock switches that I would need to buy replacements for. That's like $60, so it's already worth it for me to get the $40 keypad that has two keys, right? It's already worth it for me to get that and get all of these. Look at this. There's like, there's like five different types this comes with. What's in it right now, I wonder? Hang on, I'm gonna go get my key puller. Okay, this is, this is Andrew coming in post because, uh, Andrew forgot to say what type of keypad it was. Um, it's, it's the, it's the an, 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 ticker, an, an, tesser? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this one. And you can get all of the, or you can get the keypad and all the switches for less than $40. Uh, it does take a bit to ship, but, I mean, just in case anyone was interested. Back to Andrew. This thing pulls switches. Yep. We should just be able to... Huh? It's not clipping on the other side. Oh, there we go. Yay! The silvers are in them. The silvers. That's exactly what I wanted, also. That was, like, the base... Okay. Uh, quick rundown on switches. This one comes with um, a few different Cherry MX ones. So, uh, right now, Cherry MX silvers are in them. Silvers are like Cherry Mex Reds, the ones that are in my keyboard. It's, it's like those ones. Except they literally just are shorter, and the activa activation point is like less. So it's just a better, it's just a better red, basically. So that's gonna be good for Osu. But we also got a bunch of other ones. So let's uh let's dump those out right now. Oh. So I wanna dump these out. So these are blues. It's a blue. That's a blue right there. It's supposed to be clicky. <gasps> I hear it. Ooh. Fun. It's not as clicky as I thought it'd be. Ooh, it has a bent pin. Yeah, a lot of people hate the fucking blues. They do, they do feel like they give way. Like, they give way once the click happens. 
Okay, Browns are supposed to be pretty fucking good, though. I've heard good things about Browns. Ooh. I've been nerding about this shit for literally, like, two weeks. Because it just took that long to get in. So, I know what all of these fucking switches are like without ever touching them. I know the specs of them. These are the blacks. The blacks are supposed to be just hard to press reds, basically. Like the opposite of silvers. And there's silvers. And these are supposed to be easy to press reds. I do feel like I can do that better than I can on the blacks. Yeah. Huh. But it also comes with the sticky paper. I don't know how this is going to work. I assume the top part is sticky because it's supposed to attach to the bottom. So let's like attach that maybe. Okay, I assume I just do like this. Okay, time to see if I was scammed or not. Because if this thing works how I how I think it's supposed to work, if I put water on the bottom of this, it's going to get sticky. And it's going to stick to a surface. That's how I heard it's supposed to work. And there's no manual with this fucking thing. It's just a little case. I like the case, though. The case is really cool. It's a nice small case. I'll be back after I put water on it. Okay, so there, there was actually another piece of plastic on it. That I didn't take off. So, fuck. I'm stupid. That's about right, though. Now, this is the part that gets sticky when wet. Okay? But it's already sticky because of the paper. So, I should just be able to place it, like, here. Probably. And have it work. Ooh. They bottom out really fast. Oh, wait, I'm doing it the wrong way. Oh, shit. Oh, it's really, really, really on there. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh. The fuck? It, like, like, peeled off. This part right here. <laughs> that is, that is really sticky. I'm gonna say that I haven't been scammed. I haven't seen if it still works after you, you, like, wear it out and then you wet it again. I still haven't... No, I just still don't know if that works. But, okay. The way it's supposed to go is like that. With the buttons facing away from me. Because these tiny buttons are supposed to be near you. So, this... It, it's really, really on there. Like, the, the whole bottom being sticky works kind of like, like a suction cup, I guess. That's how I would describe it. Okay, well, I'm going to do a more thorough, I guess, investigation of the bottom piece, maybe. I'm just going to stick it to the desk a bunch of times and remove it. Ah, shit. Okay, it's lost a lot of its sticky. I'm actually going to remove it from the thing, too. Don't want to wet my electronic device. Yeah. It's lost a bit of its sticky at this point. I would say. So I'm going to go put it in some water and we're going to see what happens. So after submerging it, it feels like it feels entirely like unsticky. Like there is no stick here anymore. Like. So, uh, 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 like, <laughs> uh, I hope it comes back or, or whatever. Maybe it comes back when it dries. I don't know. I don't know if I can just put it on it yet, though. It's still quite a bit wet. So, maybe I should, like, try to stick it to stuff. So, let me stick it to the bottom again. I think the sticky is coming back as it's drying. 
That's what I feel anyway. It's still not exactly there yet, though. This is definitely a lot better than rubber pads for, like, making it not move. Which is good, because something this small needs to be able to not move. So, that's probably good. It's not very sticky anymore. I mean, it's definitely coming back. I also hate my camera. My camera sucks. My camera moves around so much and has so little, like, adjustment view. It's, like, stupid. Like, actually. I'm sorry, you have to bear with this. Ah, shit. Now, the way I had it was I had it dangling like this. Which is really, really sketch. Yeah, whatever. It's kind of sticky again. I mean, it's definitely not as much as when it was peeling the plastic off. Like, I can still peel this off with relative ease. So, it's not that good. But it seems sticky enough to, like, stick. Ooh, yeah. It's sticky enough to stick. <laughs> it's sticking all right. Yeah. Okay, so it's not that bad. Yeah, it does it does seem to come back once you wet it. It's just like not when it's wet. It's not when it's wet, it's when it's drying that it really comes back. Imagine cleaning it isn't that hard either because it loses its stick when it's wet. So if it loses its stick when it's wet, you can just wet it to clean it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. It's better than I expected, honestly. I expected way worse. Yeah, the sticks really come back now. It's been about, like, I don't know, five minutes since I wet it. Or maybe three. Something like that. It's been, like, two and a half minutes or something. Maybe. Yeah, that was my main concern with this product, actually. I wasn't sure how it was going to be when I tried to, like, reuse the sticky portion, which is kind of important because I actually, like, bring, like, I used to bring Osu to school, and I might start doing that again now that I have a keypad. I used to bring my, uh, my, my shitty laptop to school and play Osu. And I might just start doing that again just so I can use that part of it. Because look how convenient this case is, bro. Like, this is a nice case. Like, this is just a good case. Oh, it also comes with bubble wrap. That's a plus. Look at this. Oh, yeah. You know what the best thing to do with this is? You twist it. You twist the bubble wrap, right? You twist the bubble wrap. Hang on. There we go. The best thing to do with the bubble wrap it, is to twist it. Because when you twist it, it goes... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like bubble wrap. That's like all of it. Uh, okay. We should probably get into the meat of this. We should probably plug it in and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I do want to try some of the other switches at some point though. Actually, no. We don't get into the meat of it yet. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta replace the switches. We're gonna put browns in it. We're putting browns into it. Oh, and if you're weird, you can also just mix them. Because, I mean, it's hot swappable. You don't have to have the same type of switch in both keys. Like, I single tap with this one. And I stream with the other one. So maybe I want, like, 
I don't know, a brown in one and a silver in the other. So the way you take these out is you squeeze them. It's stuck to the thing right now. It might not work if it's stuck to it. Hang on, let me get a screwdriver. That might help. And I need a flathead. Preferably. There's one. Here we go. So we're gonna stick that in there. There's a little, there's a little, there's a little, uh, a little nub, I guess. Right about there. See it? You can push that down. It's out of focus. You can push this down. And it will just pop in. And you do that for both sides. You gotta do the bottom one first, though. Okay, so I just gotta pop it up. There we go. Do the other one, too. Just in case. Then... You're supposed to turn it around, but it's kind of stuck right now. It's hard to turn, so I think I might just do the other side like this. Okay, they're both like that, and I assume now I just pull? Probably, right? I mean, there's specific tools for this. I'm sorry if the camera's, like, off. Kind of have to look at this. Okay, this isn't working. Ah, okay. Hello. Any whom. This is scuffed. <laughs> this is really scuffed. Um, right, I popped those in. Then I should just be able to pop it right out. There we go. I got it. Huh, you can see the little you can see the little tabs form. Look like at that. Can you see it? There's little ugh, it's out of focus, fuck. There are tiny itty bitty little fucking notches. You can't see them. That's just... Take my word for it. They look like little fucking ports. They, that's where the pins go. They, there's actually just like five slots. The big ones are not the right ones. Those are for different types of switches, I think. There's two little tiny ports for these two tiny little legs. If you can see them. Yeah, there they are. Oh. They've got a little light underneath it, too. Oh, we haven't plugged it in yet, so I mean, I haven't seen it. But I see the LED, and I am, I'm an engineer, so I know what a fucking LED looks like when I see it. And I can tell you right fucking now that that is a surface mount LED. Okay. Well, there we go. We got the switches out. So this actually supports five pin as well, because it has, the, it has the, the three pins in the middle. It has the three, three little circles in the middle. The, the, like the one here, one here, one here. The big one in the middle. The, those are for five. This one actually supports five pin. Which is weird, because I've heard a lot about, like, cutting the th the three plastic pins off. Because that's all they are. They're just plastic. They're there to support the thing. But this doesn't need it. Yet it supports it, so that's good. So you can put, like, any type of switch in this, unless it's fucking soldered to your computer and cannot be removed. Awesome. Anyways... Let's put some rounds in. So the process for putting one in should just be exactly like... I don't know how much of that was out of frame, by the way. So the process for putting one in should just be like... Taking it and making sure it lines up. It has some little bit of... Bit of clear plastic on the side. Maybe you don't even need to make sure it's lined up. Maybe you can literally just push it in. Maybe that will work. That does not seem to work. 
Okay, so this is actually a bit more annoying than I was anticipating. I've never had a hot swappable switch, though, so I wouldn't have been able to predict this. It seems like it's stuck. Oh, no, it's gone. It's gone in. I'm a bit afraid that I bent them. Oh, no, I see them. You can... I, I like how the side of it's transparent like that. You can literally see the switches in there, if you can. I don't know if you can. There should be, like, two, like, shiny little pieces underneath it. Yeah. They're, like, here-ish. And the back piece, not the not the middle piece of plastic. The one that's, like, right next to the big, thick black piece on the bottom. Don't know if you can see that. Anyways, yeah, that was actually surprisingly easy. And then we just put the other one in. This should just be as easy. Okay, but let's get to the flashy shit now. We gotta plug this shit in. It's time to plug the thing in. We get our get our little cord here. We got a fucking a rubber band stuck in the keys, Pog. We got to go to the back of this. My keyboard's a little bit in the way. And we got to find the fucking hole. Which apparently I suck at. There we go. Okay, so a bit of awkward positioning later. Hang on, let me shut my door. Okay, so a bit of awkward positioning later. I think I've almost got it. Actually, I haven't gotten it at all. A bit of an a bit of awkward positioning later, and I've managed to move my keyboard out of the way. So, the keypad can be where the keyboard was, which is what I'm used to. So, I mean, that's just kind of what I'm doing. I just wet it, because it already lost its stick again, because I keep moving it around. One one wetting of it seems to last for like two to three times. Sorry about that. It's a motorcycle. I don't have control over that. But it's it's gonna it's I'm gonna wait for it to get sticky again. Cause I think what it is is that when it dries, depending on how much water was on it, it gets sticky. Because last time, I, like, shook it a lot before I put it back on the desk. And it very quickly seemed to, uh, dry, but also not work as well. And you can't really see it. There we go. It's very bright and cool looking, I gotta say, though. Uh, side effect of this, my mouse is now, like, all the way over here. So, I'm, like, fucking fully, like, fully extending my arm to fucking, like, do anything. But that's my desk's fault. That's not the keypad's fault. I just don't have desk base. I mean, this is what I'm working with. I really don't have a lot. There's a cat there. Like for the cat, please. Yeah, so anyway. While it's still drying. Uh, let's look at the drivers. I think that's a good idea. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Yo, that's trippy. Okay. There we go. I had to change the capture process. Awesome. So this is the window. When you tab out, it dims. It becomes translucent, actually. You can't see that. Actually, you know what? I could make it so you see. Okay. So when you open it up, you get this window. This this tiny little thing. This is this is the drivers for it. When I press a key, look at that. Has a bunch of buttons. I don't know what OEM3 is. I suppose we'll find out. Oh, wait. Oh, that's tilde. Why do you need tilde? I don't know. Anyways. 
it's bound to different things, and you can press the buttons, and, and it, it, it does funny things. And it does this just by installing it. So I'm actually going to switch these because... Ooh, that's a funny window. You can bind it to literally anything. You can bind it to your X? Wait, is this like on your mouse? The fuck? Wait, huh? Huh? What? Key one. My mouse- my mouse moved. Holy shit. That moves my mouse. You can fucking come back with the shit out of this. This is actually amazing. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, but anyways. Um, I'm actually gonna change these to be... You can just have a double tap button. That's cheating. <laughs> you can back with a fuck out of this, though. But these are my keys for Osu because my Z key is kind of fucked, as I said earlier, on my normal keyboard. That's awesome. Anyways, let's look at the other stuff. Press frequency. What does that do? Huh. Always on. Press on. What does that do? I don't notice anything when I do that. Color table. That's what all of them are set to. Press frequency color. Change the change the color based off of how often I press. That's cool. That's awesome. They have that color table. Press on always on or press off always off. Press off. Does that mean it turns off when I press it? I can't tell. Whatever. It has that for all of the keys. That's cool. Press frequency color. Huh. Okay. Don't know why you would need that. And back LEDs. Press frequency color. And I can have everything press frequency color. Let's do that. Oh, shit. What? That's cool. And let's turn everything to press frequency color and see what happens. I'm feeling like a little bit of chaos is in order. Ah, shit, I right clicked. Okay, so it doesn't apply to these buttons. These buttons are like their own thing. That's cool though. I think I like color table though. You can also change the color table, I guess. I think that's what that was. If I go, if I click on this. Oi, that's a lot of colors. Cool. Append instant mode. It just turns off all the other ones. Okay, so there's a lot of color customization, but there's also a lot of key customization. So this is actually just really cool. I'm I'm genuinely impressed. I was not expecting it to be this good. Set all keys. Oh, what's this? Key debounce. Ah, this needed to be up 50, right? Yeah. Seems like the systems changed a little bit, because before you had to manually set this, I think. I think I remember that in the video about this. I, I got this, I, I, I bought this because I watched a few videos and did my research, basically. And I was like, oh, this one's cool, look at that. The only thing I was unsure about was the, um, was the sticky part underneath it. Yeah, this is the, this is the answer keypad. Okay. 
It's plug and play, so you don't really need that up either. But let's actually just get into the game, huh? We should like try some stuff with it, huh? I need to get a better camera position. We're going back to the TV spot. Okay, now we're gonna play the game a little bit. And wait, is there one? Is there a keybind for stopping? That's the quick retry one. That's the pause one. There's there's pause. There's random and there's quick retry. That's cool. I didn't even know quick retry was a button. I'm gonna be perfectly fucking honest. I had no idea. Okay, so far the act's bad, but I feel like that's more my fault. I'm not exactly a 99 act Andy. Especially for Airman. Maybe some six stars or five stars, but... Fucking tried to move it a little bit, but it's sticky, so I mean that maybe is okay. That's that feels too far to the left now. I'm fucking finicky as shit. Nice. Awesome. So yeah, so far it seems fine, but let's actually try it on a hard map. Or like on a stream map. Because I, okay, first of all, prefacing this, I don't know if I can find one. Because a fucking, I suck at stream maps, so a stream map I can do is rare. So we're going to try to find one that's not probably not going to be above 200, but it might be. And it's probably going to be a 6 star. Oh, this one kind of is. We could do that. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, we'll do that one. We need no fail, though, at the end, though. This is like... Pure streams. Yeah. This will work.
why we have no fail. Not that, actually. That's actually more than doable. <laughs> hmm. It's just that I can't do space streams. Okay. I uh, Now I understand. I thought it was just impossible at the end. It's not. Okay, we need a different one now. Oh, you know what? Wait, no, I got one. Overdrive, final overdrive, get this one. No, no, don't do this with, hang on. No, no fail. Okay, so out of habit, I'm like tapping up here where my fucking uh, escape button would be. Because that's how I used to try it. But it's actually below that now. Switch the switches. Sounds like a good idea to me. But I want to try the silvers, so. Seems like a good excuse. I already have the screwdriver. I will be back when the silvers are in. This has already gone on way too fucking long, too. Okay, so I've gone ahead. I've put the silvers on. We're gonna try it. Also, I've typed a lot somehow. Oops. Anywho. Let's see if this is any better. Okay, there are some things that keypads just can't fix, and my aim is one of those. Shit, okay. Oh, you know what we should do? We should play Lag Train. There we go. Takes a lot less to activate it, as expected with Silvers. Huh. 
my fucking act is shit. What the fuck? I can't draw, no! wasn't bad i just i thought while while i was playing that though i thought of a good one gabe power here we go i used to play this one a lot i used to practice this one to make sure i could still pass it every day every time i played i'd play this one Aw, oh, that was almost PB, though. Shit. Wow, okay, see? There's some things that uh, the keypad can't fix. We did almost PB, though. We did almost PB. So I think that's a win. Oh, we can try through the fire and the flames. We can do practice diff because the hard part is really just the fucking two thirds part in. Right about here. Fuck yes. Shit. I just can't tap fast enough. That's not the keypad's fault. It does work fine for what I'm can well, what I know I can do though. Like consistently. 
it works very well for what I can do consistently, actually. Okay, it's fine, like, I don't know. Preferably a harder one, right? I'm getting carried away. I'm playing the fucking game now. <laughs> That's what's happening. Oh, here we go. This one's fun. I'm trying to play faster maps, because... I mean, I need to show off the keypad. But I can't do faster maps. I'm sorry, I've just been clockwise. I'm gonna get flamed for that. Get fucking crucified for spinning clockwise. <laughs> I do like the noise. It has a nice noise. Pog. Better act. Let's go. When do I end it? When do I stop playing maps? I'm gonna have like clips of each of them. That's what this is gonna end up being. Oh wait. Oh shit. I'm not gonna be able to pass this. We're gonna try this one now. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Ugh. I'm just not gonna stop, am I? Okay, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I can't- I can't- I can't just keep playing more map. I gotta end it. <laughs>